What is up everybody? So, so we're at our local pond today. Usually when you throw a jig, you put a trailer, it's either maybe a swim bait or a crawl or a creature bait. But today we're going to try to catch one with a yum dinger as a trailer. See if we can get it done. I'll see you guys out there. All right, so here's the things that we're going to be using today. Not sure what the brand of this one was. I just remember I got it at Cabela's. But here's the yum dinger, the four inch one. I'm going to try to put it on here and catch a bass with it. So you measure it, and it's about right here. And then you just start putting it in through here. And wherever you measured it, just stick it out right there. It's around there. So it should look like this. What do y'all think about it? Y'all think we'll catch something? It looks all right, but let us see if it'll catch something or not. All right, so it's kind of sprinkling right now. It's like a light mist. It picks up and slows down and picks up. And, but if it picks up more, we probably won't be out here that long. Oh snap, I cast it that way, like right here on the edge, like right here. And then I got a big bird's nest and I was taking it out. And my line just took off. Look. I probably messed up it too much already, but I just want you to see this. I am scared to set the hook. Oh yeah, I got it. I got him. Please stay on, stay on. Oh my gosh, y'all see that? He came off. He came off. Ah. Look at my yum dinger. I don't know if y'all can see it really good. Oh, ooh, that adrenaline though. Bro, but he had it. I don't know why that happens. I should have waited longer. I don't know. But I did wait a, a minute. I was taking out that bird's nest. Damn. It was a solid one too. Hopefully the GoPro got that. I cast it right here. Like right here. And then I got a bird's nest and I was taking it out. And then I just see my line. Zoom. All right, let's try to cast it back in there. Let's see if we can get anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bros. That gave me like a heart attack. I was just doing that and one blew up on it. Oh, I thought he took it. He missed it. Well, he missed the hook. Oh, shoot. Thought it blew up on it again. Are right, we gonna try to cast it back in there again? There we go. No. What am I on? I 
I lost it. I'm gonna go see if I can see it. If it's close to the edge or not. I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to check. I don't even know where it's at. Yeah, I don't see anything. It's underwater somewhere. All right, I'm gonna try to just go over there. But my GoPro doesn't have a, a cap on one of its sides, so I'm gonna just leave this here, just in case I fall in. So I went on that. I climbed it, and then out of the corner of my eye, I spotted my lure. It was underwater, tangled in some branches. But guess what? I got it. Yes, sir. Let's go tie this bad boy back on. See if we can get some. Oh, what the? I have one. What the? I thought I had a log or something. Bruh. This is a solid chunk. Look, I didn't even have to take it out. I could have lost it. Good thing I didn't though. <laughs> Look, I did it, finally, finally. And it's a solid one, it's a fatty. Yes, sir. It didn't even give a pull or anything. I thought it was a log, but finally, thank you, fish. Thank you. Heck yeah on the yum dinger trailer jig i think you can see where it kind of hooks at it right here it's bleeding a bit but hell yeah all right time to let this dude go thank you for the fight sight wasn't even a fight but thank you you don't know how hard it was to catch something on that There she goes. Thank you so much. Whew. I didn't think I was gonna catch him for a minute. I lost two today so far, but finally that one made it happen. Whew. I am so happy, stoked. Like I threw it over there and I thought I got stuck on a log. Cause I usually, that's how it usually feels like. Like you just pull it and pull it. And then you eventually either drag the log out or snap it. And then I just saw the white of it, the belly right here. And that's, oh snap. But heck yeah, finally. Oh. All right, so the rain's coming down on us, but we got the job done. Thanks to Young Dinger and the jig. It was hard, but we got it done. See you at the car, guys. All right, so my GoPro doesn't have the cap on the side, so I can't really stick my GoPro underwater without it getting damaged. So I came up with this. But here you can see how it looks like underwater. It's not the same Young Dinger color, because I ran out, but this will give you an idea of how it might look like underwater. Although it seemed easy and fast to catch a fish on it, 
It was not. It took me at least two hours to catch something on this thing. It was hard, but we finally got it done eventually. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. See you next time.